Hello my friend. Today we will be talking about what rewiring is on a basic level, the neurological science of rewiring, how it plays into mindgasm, the source and the sweet spot, and what you can do to speed up the process. So what is rewiring? Our brain is essentially a web of billions upon billions of wires, called neurons, that function by transporting information using electrical signals, and transforming that information on the way from an input, our five senses or memory, to an output, an action we take. Essentially, all of the neurons in our spine and brain perform these functions of transforming input to output in some way. Our brains are not static. They transform all the time, as we learn new skills like learning an instrument or learning to drive a car. Essentially our brains are adapting, building new information pathways and processing mechanisms, as they are required. In terms of our senses, there are areas of our bodies that our brains have perceived to be very important to receive information from, and as such the brain increases the capacity for information being transported from those senses that are seen as important. How this applies to mindgasm and the source is, that commonly, the capacity for the brain to process signals from the penis or clitoris, is very well developed. Simply because you have been reinforcing this pathway again and again by continuing to use it, through classic masturbation. Conversely, looking at the source, these pathways have been used far less, or maybe not at all for many years, decades or even your entire life. So the brain is not set up to process all of those impulses efficiently, and a lot of effort is necessary to transport even small bits of information. You could compare the wiring of the penis or clitoris to a modern highway, and the wiring for the sweet spot is more like an overgrown trail. When you start your journey with mindgasm, you are attempting to put a highway load of traffic onto that small trail. As a result, at first, a lot of the information is lost, and you aren't experiencing much pleasure. Following this highway analog, our brains are intelligent, and as you continue to try to use and overload this trail, that is the wiring for our sweet spot, your brain will start to increase capacity as needed for the information to flow efficiently. As a result, the feelings of pleasure and sensitivity of the source will start to increase. The Science Scientifically, the capacity of the brain to rewire is called neuroplasticity. The capacity for neuroplasticity will differ from person to person, but there are patterns to be observed. For instance, children from the age of 0 to 7 generally have heightened levels of neuroplasticity. They learn new languages from scratch without reference points, absorb all information around them like a sponge, and learn new skills at seriously fast speeds. After the age of 7, your brain's capacity for neuroplasticity will gradually decline throughout your life. This is why older people have more trouble remembering things and learning new skills. Does that mean that as you get older, the rewiring process will take longer? Yes and no. Although the natural capacity for neuroplasticity, rewiring the brain, degrades over time, there are dietary options, and behavioral changes you can make, to increase your capacity for neuroplasticity, and keep your brain supple, and young. Even if your capacity for neuroplasticity has declined over the years, these methods may help to support brain health. There are many ways, how changes in your behavior can increase the speed of rewiring, Meditation is believed to support neuroplasticity, because it is both the learning of a new skill when you're just starting off, as well as a way to give your brain some rest. Learning new skills is an application of neuroplasticity and the rewiring process. And like training a muscle, the more you train your capacity to rewire, the easier it will come. Learn a musical instrument, a programming language, something that is hard and takes skill. By rewiring your brain into the capacity of performing this new skill, you train your brain to be more capable in doing the rewiring process again. Sunbathing. Sunbathe at least 20 minutes a day. 
Vitamin D is very important to brain health, and the best way to gain vitamin D is by giving yourself some sunlight. Besides that, it's just a very relaxing activity. Work out regularly. Working out is both an activity of learning a new skill, as well as burning fat, which both are great for the brain's rewiring capacity. Adaption. Do menial tasks in ways you're not used to. If you're right-handed, brush your teeth with your left hand. If you always put your right leg first when starting to walk, start with your left leg instead. This will feel weird, which is exactly the point. This is also kind of learning a new skill, because you're doing things in ways you're not used to. This will be a rewiring on its own, and as you know by now, rewiring in one area, promotes the capacity to rewire in other areas. Sleep. Consistent sleeping patterns are very beneficial. Going to sleep consistently at the same time every evening, and waking up at the same time every morning, while going to sleep sober is very important, to give your brain the rest it needs. Additionally, waking up early, gives your brain and hormone balance a boost, by providing you with more daylight and sun. By resting properly, your body can work better towards the change you want to see. You wouldn't try to learn to drive a car tired, or hungover. So don't try to change yourself, tired or hungover. Diet Changing your diet can also have a big influence on the speed of rewiring. Some studies suggest that cocoa promotes neuroplasticity when taken in high doses. So eat lots of chocolate daily, the purer the better. Avoid chocolates high in sugar. If you can, the recommendation would be to only consume ceremonial grade cocoa, for example 100% pure, unprocessed cocoa paste. You can mix it with warm water, milk or cream, then add some honey and spices like vanilla, for a nicely flavored drink. Blueberries have also been suggested to support neuroplasticity in some studies. So eat lots of blueberries, or drink juices with blueberries in them. Daily is best. Mushrooms. Gourmet mushrooms are great, to support the health of your brain. Eating mushrooms from organic sources, is really good for you. If you choose supplements and extracts, avoid mushrooms imported from China, since they are a sponge for contaminants, and you may get a lot of bad chemicals in your body, by eating mushrooms from unclean sources. The lion's mane mushroom seems to be especially promising at promoting neuroplasticity. Fish. Eat lots of fish. The oils in fish are very healthy for the brain and contain vitamin D. Ketones. By fasting, your body will start burning fat, releasing ketones in your bloodstream. Ketones are thought to support brain health and neuroplasticity. You can do intermittent fasting by not consuming food and drinking only water, or zero calorie drinks like tea for at least 16 hours a day. Or you can do a one or two day water fast where you consume nothing but water. Please gather more information about possible side effects or consult a doctor. Ketogenic or carnivore diets, by eating zero carbs in your diet, and replacing them with fat, your body will always be in fat burning mode. Because of this your body will always be providing ketones, increasing brain health, and neuroplasticity. Conclusion Rewiring is the process of our neuroplasticity applied. It is a process that takes time, as your brain adapts to building new pathways, to process new information. With mindgasm you may start feeling nothing, and slowly build up to dry O's and even the legendary super O. As you get older your capacity to rewire your brain degrades, but you can take control of your brain's capacity to rewire, reinvigorate, and speed up the process. All in all, give yourself the time and space you need. Be patient. Your brain is adapting, if not quickly, then slowly. You will get there. Just keep moving. Thank you for being an open-minded human being.